Hi guys, welcome back to RRC. Um, in this video, I wanted to show you a 3D printed crane for a 110 scale truck. Uh, the files are on Thingiverse and they were uh, created by a, a Mr. Paul M. Um, that's the designer's name on Thingiverse. So, big shout out for him because it is really, really good. So, what we've got here is the main base plate uh, then we have the two outrigger legs um, which obviously take the weight when it's lifting stuff then we have uh, two frame pieces there's actually four which you'll see as the video goes on there's four brackets that are used to fasten it to the chassis and these are the pins um, that actually go through and hold the um, hydraulic rams and all the bits and pieces together so we have two hydraulic rams here um, and we also have two uh, rods there which again will become apparent when we put them together and then we have the um, main boom housing which uh, fastens in so these these Guys, I've, I've painted these little bits here, so, you know, uh, it, it was all printed in red, uh, PLA. So, my idea for this is either fitted to um, a truck or a trailer, um, but I just thought it would be a cool addition to um, have this thing, because it, it is really good. Okay, guys, with no further ado, let's get on with it. So you're going to need some glue on this, um, some glue, and there is some bolts to bolt things together. So I'll just put a bit of good old huge uh, yoo glue on. Really good for plastic, guys. So and we'll just slot that in there. Bear in mind, guys, it is 3D plastic, and you know the joints are not fan super fantastic. So they've got like little. Um, marks here guys and that's for the brackets the brackets have like little lugs on so them little lugs slot into that stop them moving about so make sure they're facing downwards if you're going to do one of these Just gonna leave that to um, to go off a little bit so that it uh, all stays flat. Hopefully, okay, guys. For this for this bit here, which is the the base for the crane, um, I'm just going to because I don't want it fixed or glued in one position. I've, I've just drilled the center and the center of that, and I'm just going to put a screw so I can turn it either way. I have pre-started the the hole on it guys so okay so the next thing is the these arms here so this one it's on there, just has a pin through there again guys these are all 3d printed i've just painted the uh, ends of them so Okay guys, that's that uh, top section in there. Let's move around into positions, so that's pretty cool. The next bit is the ram, short one that goes in there. Comes down to there, come down a bit more. So lines it up, looks about right. Put the pins in there. Okay guys, that's the top two in there. Uh, just gonna get the bottom one in, but you will need a 
G clamp or some sort or some other form of press to push them in because they are tight. Didn't really want to file them down too much just in case the, uh, they're too loose. So yeah, but probably worth giving them a little uh, sandpaper in and using the G clamp to put them in. Okay, I've tried a little bit of silicone grease. Let's see if this, these pins will run an easier guide. Well, the silicone grease definitely helped uh, get that into position there, so. You guys there, um, just let them go off there. Off. So the only thing to fit on there now is that the two legs and it's ready to be mounted onto a truck chassis or a trailer. I haven't quite decided which one I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, and I'll show you the finished article as soon as everything's dry. Okay guys, um, that's the complete crane or simulated crane for the back of a uh, 110 or 114 scale truck. Um, so basically that's what it looks like. I'll turn it around there. I think it looks pretty neat guys. Okay, thanks for watching RRC guys and um, as always, thank you for subscribing and watching uh, and I'll see you in the next one.